So this is a short tutorial on how to do your Photoshop assignment for your silhouette. Uh, digital skills number two. You're going to go first into your homepage on Canvas. Um, under your Photoshop digital skills assignment, if you click on that, and then go to your digital skills number two silhouette collage. So you're going to go through in. And in your assignment, you are going to be creating a silhouette collage. Um, so from the photos that we took of you in class as a silhouette, you're going to create a collage behind that with things that interest you. Um, so in that first part, the first thing you're going to do is create a new document um, in Photoshop. Set the document at the following width, 8.5 by 11 by 200. So we're going to go into Photoshop. Create new, and you can go in and do an eight and a half by eleven custom, eight and a half by eleven, and then the resolution on that, going back to it, is two hundred PPI. So you're going to change the resolution here, and then hit create. So it should open up this document. Then going back to a canvas, you're going to take the silhouette photo that we took of you in class. So silhouette photos, you click here, and I have a shared folder with you. And you go to your class period. So the class period for this class. And you go into six period, and I have a photograph here that I took um, of my sister. So I'm going to go in, and I'm going to download this image. So going up here to download, it should open up at the bottom if I'm using Chrome. And I'm going to click that drag it to Photoshop, it's going to open up a new folder. Now I have the Photoshop or the uh, silhouette photograph here and I want to click it and drag it to the assignment that I created. So I'm going to use my move tool, click and drag to the untitled, bring it back down and drop it. And then I'm going to resize this to fit inside the eight and a half by 11 inch uh, document or frame that I have here. So I'm going to put it right about there, slide it in, double click, and I'm going to move this a little bit more to the side so that it fits in there. And I'm going to take it to make it a little bit bigger so it fits in frame. A little bit bigger than size. So there we go. Now what we want to do next, going into your assignment, if I go back to the assignment, I've got my silhouette photo. You're going to take the image and do some image adjustments to strengthen the contrast. We've already got a great contrast on it, um, but if I want to, I can adjust it and make it nice and clear. So I'm going to go up to the Adjustments tool, Image Adjustments. Make sure that it is black and white. It is black and white, so we're good there. I'm going to go into Adjustments and Levels and just check to that, see that my whites are white. Um, but I don't want to get rid of too much detail. You can see here I got rid of too much detail. So I'm going to leave it right about where it was and say OK. And now I have it as black and white photo. The next thing I want to look at is that I am changing it from black and white. Uh, that right now it has the black silhouette with a white background. I want to flip that to a black brown background with a white silhouette. To do that, I'm going to go under Image, Image Adjustments, and under the tab Gradient Map. A gradient map allows me to switch. And you can see it switched there. Um, and I can also see that I have a little white spot here that I need to move that document over. If it doesn't it automatically show up, if you double click on this um, form here, you can see there's the white and black and the black and white. If that doesn't work, if it still shows up this way, you can slide these sliders right over the cross the top of each other, and that will automatically show up with the white, black, and the black, white. And then I'm going to hit OK. Hit OK again. Use my move tool, and I'm going to move this right in the middle. I have it. It looks like it's still a little bit big, so I'm going to hit transform, move it just a little bit bigger, pull this down just a little bit, double click. 
Now I have a white silhouette and a black background. I now want to go back and find out the next step in the assignment. Uh, the next part is to, you'll then delete the silhouette from the image and then collage images of things that you interest you in the back of the silhouette frame. So we need to get rid of the white silhouette so that we can put the backs in. So I'm going to go back to Photoshop. To get rid of this, it's all a white area. So I'm going to use my quick selection tool. Um, and I'm going to go inside the uh, silhouette and just make a circle. And I'm going to keep going. Oops, I'm on the background, so I need to deselect that. I'm going to select the layer. Um, go within the white area and get the ponytail here. And I've gone through and selected that, but there's some fine areas that are not quite selected in the hair. So I'm going to click Select Mask up here at the top and go within that. I'm going to show the edge. I'm going to hit Smart Radius and I'm going to slightly choose in a little bit more of the uh, hair area there. You can see that I've got most of it. There are a few spots in there that I don't have. So I'm just going to go a little bit more into it. it nice and smooth. I don't want it choppy. And feather it just a tad. And I'm going to get most of the uh, selection in her hair and th then I'll hit OK. Now you can see that the uh, marching ants are starting to show more of that. So now I can go in and right now I'm going to hide the background layer and I'm going to hit the delete key and delete that area and you can see that the white has been taken out I can hit command D and now I'm ready to go in I can turn that back on on the background so that I can see the white but now I can go in and take some images of things that interest you're going to use images that interest you this is a collage about my sister so I'm going to go in and I'm going to create or I'm going to grab some images that are things that are interesting to her. So I'm going to flip over to a folder of photos. So let me minimize those. These are some photographs of things that she is interested in. So I'm going to go in and open those up. Um, getting all those images, and I'm going to just pull those down to Photoshop. And those are going to take a second to uh, pull in. So now I'm ready to go ahead and start pulling these images into the background here. Before I do, I'm going to go ahead and save this. So I'm going to hit File, Save As. Um, I'm going to save it in my photo or in my Digital Skills Silhouette Collage under my Photoshop Digital Skills. So I'm going to save this in here as a Photoshop file. Again, I'm going to put my last name. First name, DS2. Make sure I keep the PSD file format. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Hit OK. And I want to make sure that this is also saved in my Adobe Cloud. So I'm going to go to the uh, cloud here. Hit my work. And I should have my other stuff in here. I'm going to take that out of my documents. Just photo, Photoshop skills, silhouette. And now I have that here. I'm going to click it and drag it Oops. to my cloud so that I can get rid of the one on my desktop. I only want it saved on the cloud so it doesn't take up too much space. And then I'm going to minimize my documents, and there's my file here. So I'm going to go back into Photoshop. So now we're going to get ready to start pulling these into her, into the uh, image background behind the black background. So I'm going to start with the chocolate. I'm going to use the Move tool. I'm going to click it, drag it up to my document, bring it down, and drop it. Then I'm going to go in and do the code red one. Uh, this one I just want to click select the bottle, so I'm going to use the quick selection tool, enlarge this, and we're going to go in and select just the bottle of the code red, which she loves to drink. There we go. And then instead of bringing the whole thing, I'm just going to bring 
the actual image. I'm going to use the move tool again, click it, drag it up there and bring it down. There we go. We'll do that to all of those. So click and drag. Yeah, so we have all of those images there. So we're going to go in and close those down. Those. Okay, so we have all these images here, but we want to arrange them and make them so that they're visually appealing. The first thing we need to do is the layer that she is with her background needs to move to the top so that she is sitting on the very front. So we're going to click and drag that up to the top layer. So now she's sitting in the front. We have all these other layers behind. So now I've moved all the photographs into the background of her silhouette. And I have all of those. I went through and labeled each of the photos so that I knew which ones I was working with and I could move them around easily. So right now I have a few images that are over the top of each other and they don't quite fit. So I have a few ways that I could go in and change it. With the Mountain Dew, I've already taken out the background and that works. But with the boots, I kind of want to leave some of the picture. So I'm just going to use the eraser tool right here. Um, if I go up to the option bar, I can choose the uh, hardness. I want it to be a soft brush, um, but I don't want it to be too big. So I'm going to go into the boots layer, make sure it's selected. And I'm just going to kind of make a soft eraser go around so that I can still see some of the image, um, but I don't want to erase all of it. It's kind of softening that edge so that the picture's still there, um, but it isn't quite cut right at the edge. So you can see as I move that, I still have some of those parts. Let me use the transform tool. Um, kind of rotate it so it's standing up a little bit. And then I can kind of put that where I want it to afterwards so that that gets rid of some of the image. I can see other images behind it. So now I can see a little bit more of the barbecue. Um, and I don't love all this stuff on the edge of the barbecue, so I'm probably going to do the same thing to that one so that I kind of see more of the meats. Um, so I'm going to turn off some of these um, and just have it so that I can see the barbecue for a minute. Um, pull it up here. Do the same thing with the eraser tool and just kind of go around getting rid of some of the things that were the edges of it to make it a little bit more of the uh, meats, less of a hard edge. So it's kind of faded in there. And then get rid of all this part here. So I can move that down back into that area and turn it off. I'm going to do that to all of the different ones. Look at them. We've got the boots, got the Mountain Dew, the dog. I'm probably going to do a little bit to that as well. All right, so now I've gone through and I've got things pretty much where I want them. They show up pretty good. Um, I rescaled a few things, moved them around. Now what I want to do is I've got some edges that don't show up as well as others. So what I'm going to do is take the uh, white paintbrush, so the paintbrush here on the left, and make sure it's white. And then this one, same thing. I want to make sure that my hardness is a little soft and I don't want to make it too hard. And I'm going to just paint the outside of these images so that they kind of all mix together. I don't want to paint it big like this or I get rid of the image. But I'm just going to go up to the edge right here and kind of lighten up the outside so that things like right here where the pepper is show up a little bit better so that I can see the entire silhouette just a little bit better. Um, and it's just enough to make it all look set more contrast and silhouetted from the other. Now that was a little too much right there on the other, so I'm just going to go back in right here and then I just kind of want to stay outside as much as I can so that it just barely softens up so I don't want that hair right here to be too much white so just kind of soften it up maybe a little bit on the bottom here and then right here on the edge and that'll allow it to look a little more silhouetted but I still see 
uh, the images on the inside, just enough that I can go in and, and have her in there. And so I wanted just enough so that she shows up. And I'm going to go in, hit File, hit Save. The last thing you want to do is go through and check that make sure that you have everything for your assignment. So we went through and we created the image. We want to make sure that we have at least 10 photographs in our background. There's a little information here about how to select images for fair use, but because this is an assignment and you're practicing, it shouldn't really matter much for the copyright use. Just make sure you have high quality images. Save your document as a PSD and make sure you save the file correctly. The last thing is to go through and we have a rubric here to make sure that you have everything. Check everything to make sure that you have it ready to turn in. So the last things that you need to make sure of is that you have um, all the parts, 10 images, good craftsmanship, it's not sloppy. You set your document at the right size, good background or a white background behind everything. Everything's unique, creative, and it doesn't look sloppy. Um, and then you're demonstrating all your tools. The one thing I want to make sure you understand is in the assignment, you are only to use photographs. So I don't want you to use drawings of things. I want you to find photographs to put in as your collage. Um, and then if you have any questions, let me know. Make sure you ask.